Welcome to Oracle NetSuite version 2018, release 1. The 2018 one release has a number of features of interest to advertising, media, and publishing companies. This video will touch on a few of the features you might be interested in. Be sure to review the 2018 one release notes for a full list of upcoming features to find out more details on what benefits they can provide. Let's start with highlights in the Professional Services Automation area also known as jobs or projects. The new resource allocation grid filter is a huge step forward for agencies looking to manage resources in logical groups. Grid filters allows resource managers and project managers to create combinations of filtered fields, save the filters, and share the filters with team members. Resource filters include name, department, class and location, billing class, vendor type, vendor category, type, like employee, vendor, generic resources. Allocation filters include project, client, allocation type, start date, project task, and allocation level. Filter values will automatically be shown on the header of the view. The resource allocation grid filters enhancement introduces more flexibility and control over resource scheduling, better aligned with industry practices. Part of the picture in reporting on profitability of service delivery is certainly revenue. But to get the complete picture, it's necessary to also consider future revenue expectations in order to forecast project profitability accurately. The new capability focused on including sales orders as future revenue supports that process. With this new enhancement, finance teams now have the ability to include sales orders as future revenue in the advance profitability report. More specifically, different business processes are accommodated since sales orders can include different revenue items. Lastly, Forecasted profitability versus actuals permits more complete planning inclusive of future revenue, reporting earnings earlier in the period, and supporting planning and cash flow decisions. In 2018-1, we're introducing a new automation capability called charged-based billing for time-based rules. This feature enables users to source data from resource information on tasks. When selecting resources on a rate basis, you now have the ability to bring over information already indicated on the project tasks automatically. It's no longer necessary to update this form from scratch. This allows for a more streamlined and efficient experience while reducing the chance of data entry errors. As we continue to improve project profitability reporting, we are excited to launch new configuration and setup of the Project Profitability Report's category definitions, which provides more flexibility for companies to calculate project profitability based on each company's business processes. First, the Advanced Project Profitability feature introduces various UI and UX improvements in creating the report structure. This is presented in an intuitive, wizard-driven configurator it includes a more elegant interface to set up account types and item categories and enables you to define total cost, total revenue, and total profit. Specifically, you can control and set up account types, the x-axis, and item categories, the y-axis. For example, direct labor, indirect labor, and employee travel in this bucket. Graphic design, photography, media in that giving you control to define the key elements to profitability, cost, revenue, and profit. The 2018-1 release also adds key features to one of the highest traffic areas of NetSuite, the weekly timesheet. The new timesheet now has a more modern, user-friendly interface with improved capabilities. One key improvement is the customizable pop-up window. Right from the timesheet field, you can now get a pop-up to enter memos for the time entry. For the timesheet approver, a simple mass approval and rejection functionality for all entries in the weekly timesheet is now available. You can process all reviews in just a few clicks. The feature also includes pending approval status in the view. 
On the timesheet grid itself, we added floating column headers with some of total hours so you can see where you're entering time no matter how many items are on the timesheet. And last, we added a split grid with a locked section that's always visible to allow user scrolling time entry details without losing visibility of the tracked hours. Let's move on to the highlights in human capital management. The Employee Center helps put your key assets, your staff, first in your organization by providing an interface tailored to your people, which allows them to complete tasks that matter to them. It provides employees easy access to their benefits, compensation, vacation, expenses, time off, employee directories, organizational charts, and access to other key information that matters to them. As we continue to invest in Sweet People, we're excited to announce the release of a new employee center with attractive dashboards for all users and managers with direct reports. We're redefining how your people consume and interact with their HR information. We understand the different roles that employees play in your organization and bring the information they need the most to their fingertips, providing an exceptional employee experience to complete most HR-related tasks. There are three main areas to Employee Center in the 2018-1 release. Number one, Employee Center Publishing. Number two, Employee Manager Toggle. And number three, New Portlets. Employee Center Publishing allows HR and admins to publish content such as company news and updates which are essential to keep employees updated and motivated on their dashboards. When the Employee Center Publishing feature is enabled, the old Employee Center dashboard will be replaced with the new dashboard. Employee Manager Toggle ensures that key information and tasks relevant to your role are available at your fingertips. If you are an individual contributor, you'll have access to tasks and information pertaining to your role, such as my time off, my expense reports, my purchases, and so on. If you manage direct reports, you can access the manager dashboard with an easy toggle. The manager view has tasks and information related to your role as a manager, such as time off request approvals, expense report approvals, and more. Sweet People Employee Center also has three new portlets. A news portlet to share company policy updates, office events, HR reminders, and more. A team portlet on the manager dashboard that lists the employees who report to you. It also links to their employee record an approvals portlet, which has different records that need approval from the manager, such as time off requests, expense reports, purchases, and requisitions. The Employee Center Publishing and Manager Dashboard features are currently available to Sweet People customers. Access control is one of the foundational elements of effective HR software systems. HR systems must ensure that personal information, sensitive HR data, and confidential employee information is appropriately restricted. The new HCM permissions feature allows companies to safely permit access to employee data without disclosing sensitive or confidential information to those who shouldn't see it. These new permissions allow users to view other employees while restricting what data they see based on their relationship to that employee. There are three new permissions that are supported, public employee profile, a manager view, and a limited HR view of employee data. These are employee public permission, which enables viewing anyone's employee record, employee confidential permission, which enables viewing confidential job information to direct managers, employee administration permission, which enables HR practitioners to view HR data for employees in their area of responsibility, but with access to only a limited set of information. When it comes to accessing employee data, users are not required to switch roles to act as an employee, a manager, or an HR representative. In 2017-1 release, we introduced a new HCM functionality, Effective Dating Support for Employee Record, which allowed backdated and future dated changes to be made on the employee record. System Notes tracks when a change was made, and this feature added when a field was valid from 
too based on its effectivity dates. For example, an HR team member knows that an employee will be transferred to another department on a future date. They can proactively enter this change today and have the changes effective for when the date arrives. The new Field Conflict Resolution for Effective Date Employee Changes functionality in 18.1 release introduces a pop-up feature to alert the HR user if an effective dated field change they made on an employee record has conflicts with a future date of the field. From this pop-up, HR can be made aware of any conflicts and resolve them before submitting their changes on the employee record. This will help HR team members better manage an employee's timeline of changes. As we continue to deliver more global financial capabilities, let me cover some of the highlights in the 18.1 release. With the 18.1 release, users can add an existing subsidiary with transactions to Active Secondary Book. This new feature will allow customers to have a different status for each accounting book subsidiary combination. Hence, customers will be able to activate the individual subsidiaries separately and run historical transactions processing for pending subsidiaries while other subsidiaries are already active. The multi-subsidiary customer feature provides businesses the ability to have a single customer record across subsidiaries enabling them to streamline customer records and manage customers across multiple subsidiaries more efficiently. They can assign customers to transactions regardless of the subsidiary they initially created. The new functionality allows users to manage the different phases of customer relationship in NetSuite against a single customer record, whether a transaction occurs at the company headquarter level or at any of the company's subsidiaries. Now, transactions with a customer across multiple subsidiaries has a single view of the customer throughout the organization. As an example, if multiple subsidiaries of a company buy from and bill the same entity, they can see all transactions related to that customer without having to look at multiple records and getting a consolidated view of the exposure from this customer. As we continue to build on the intelligent matching rules capability in the 18.1 release, we have made several improvements to the intelligent transaction matching engine. There is now support for additional transaction types in the creation of custom matching rules as well as the ability for a user to activate and deactivate any matching rule at the customer level. Other new enhancements include an improved user interface and intuitive workflow to create and manage custom rules. Continuing with the theme of intelligent transaction matching, in the 18.1 release, the Account Assignment for Intelligent Transaction Matching feature allows users to assign specific accounts against which a custom matching rule will run when the transaction matching engine is triggered during the NetSuite bank-to-book reconciliation process. This provides customers with greater granularity control when defining matching rules and improves the accuracy and relevance of transaction matches. As a result, customers can reduce the time spent on manual account reconciliation activities. In the 18.1 release, we've added a new report in summary and detailed format, the Deferred Expense Waterfall. The reports will be used by customers to analyze the waterfall pattern of outstanding deferred expense balance by providing a forecast of expected expense. In 2018-1, various advanced revenue management usability enhancements have been made for increased performance, flexibility, and productivity, specifically as it relates to the complicated nature of ensuring compliance with revenue recognition regulations. Users can now create revenue recognition journal entries. This enhancement provides more flexibility and improves overall user experience for customers who migrated from classic revenue recognition to advanced revenue management. Users can now specify a range of dates in addition to the existing date selector. They can also specify all, revenue recognition schedules, or revenue recognition plans. Reclassify deferred revenue. 
This enhancement will allow allocation and reclassification of negative element amounts in an arrangement with other positive element amounts. Improved search capabilities regarding fair value price. This enhancement provides users with the availability to access related item information from the fair value price saved search. There are many new and improved features in 2018 Release 1, and these were just the highlights. To learn more about the new features we've covered, and the many that we didn't have time for, please visit your new release portlet and read the release notes. It's also a great idea to make sure you have access to your preview account when it's made available to you. This is a great way to see hands-on how the new features will work with your own data. It's a free part of the service you get as a NetSuite customer, and we really encourage you to take advantage of your release preview access period. Thank you, and enjoy this amazing new release from NetSuite.